Hey guys, it's me Stace. Today we're going to be using the Brother Scan Cut Machine to make this adorable mom shaped card. Really easy. I'm also going to show you guys how to do the drawing feature there. On the inside we have a little heart. Now when I bought my machine off HSN years ago, I bought it as a bundle and it did come with this little pen holder and it also came with a universal pen holder which looks like that here. So if you have this one, to make this work you want to take the push the button on the back of it, take your little pens and I, this one has red and black, put the pen in there, close that, then put the lid on top and you'll put this in where your blade holder goes, it's going to draw it out for you. If you have this one, you want to use a mark or a different pen, you can do that as well. And again, this is the universal pen holder. It works together. On this piece, you will see two arrows. One is up, one is down. When it's in the up feature, that allows your pen to go in. When it's down, that locks your pen in. Now to put this on there, you just put it like this on there. Take your pen. In this case, I'm using a Bic Sharpie pen. And then put the pen in there. Now when your pen point reaches the bottom, that's how they know it's the right um, length or sticking out far enough to where it's going to draw. When you have it like that, you want to hold it straight up, then push this button and move it over to the left to where now it's on the down arrow, as you can see there. Take this out and you put that in where your blade holder goes, so it's going to draw for you as well. So you can either use either one of these. If you don't have them, you can certainly just cut out the word here that says is love. You can cut it out on cardstock and just glue it to this banner piece here. So it might be a longer video, so I'm going to take you guys step by step to the computer, showing you guys how to make the card, also to the machine, showing you guys how to insert the pen holder, and then we'll cut it out and come back and put the card together. So I'll see you soon. Let's go to the computer. Here at the computer, I already have the Canvas workspace open. I'm also using a desktop version. So the very first thing we see is the Canvas Project Pattern Collection window. We're going to close that out so we're inside the Canvas. I do want to make my mat space larger. At the very top, I'm going to click on the top arrow. Now I'm going to go to about 50% so I can see the mat nice and large. Now I want to add our text. Left hand side toolbar, we're going to click on the T and then click on the mat. That's going to bring up a text box. Type in the word MOM and you do want to have this in all caps. Then click on the mat. All right, so we have our word. Now I want to change the font. Have the word selected. The top toolbar again, we're going to click on the font. It's, it's going to bring up all the fonts on your computer. I'm going to go down and choose Arial Black. All right, so my font changed. Now what I want to do is weld the word together or, or merge my letters closer. So to do that, to make it easier, I'm going to go to the very top and click on the magnifying glass. Having it selected, I'm going to left click and hold and drag across the word mom. And you'll, you'll see that zooms us in some. Now to off click the magnifying glass, you need to go back up top and click on the arrow. That way it's not going to magnify us anymore. So you want to have the word selected, the right hand side toolbar, the very first box under the paintbrush, we're going to go down to the very bottom where it says character spacing and I'm going to choose the bottom arrow and this is a negative. This is going to bring the letters closer together. And I believe I went to a minus nine. So I'm going to keep on going. All right, there's point nine. I think that looks pretty good. Now to weld it, you want to go back on the right hand side toolbar and click on the next box, which is a little square. That's your edit panel. Again, the very bottom, you will see the shapes. Now the nice thing about the Canvas workspace, if you hover your mouse over an image, it's going to pop up what it is. So you can see the very first box is Weld, this little one right here. We're going to click on that, and that's going to weld our word together. See how that's all cut out? Now I'm going to unzoom, so I'm going to go back up top and where it says My Percentage. I'm going to double click on there and just type in 5-0 to bring us back to the 50% mat. Alright, so we have our word. Now I do want to resize it. Have the word selected, again the right hand side toolbar under the square that says edit. We can see our size here, the width and the height. You do want to uncheck that box. So to make our width, we're going to make that be 5.5. The height is going to be 3.5 and then click on enter. Now we want to create the part for the card. So I want to create a shadow or a layer to this one. Have Again, have the word selected, the right hand, the right -hand side toolbar again under the edit panel, which is that little square. The very bottom, you will see a button called offset. I really wish Cricut would bring this in a design space. I do use this feature a lot. Go ahead and click on that button. A little pop-up comes up. I just left it here at the default setting. Go ahead and click on OK. You can see what that did. It created an exact shadow around the word mom for us. And we're going to use that to create the shaped card. Go ahead and click on that and drag it down. We're going to move, we're going to move the word mom out of our way. Now to create the card, we need two sides, a top and a bottom or a left and a right. So you want to click on the shadow piece, right click on that and choose duplicate, then bring that piece on top of that one. 
just like that. Now the top piece, you want to flip it upside down. So have the top piece selected, again that right hand side toolbar under edit. In the middle you will see the transform, and you can see we have flip horizontal, which is left to right, or flip vertical, which is up and down. We're going to choose a vertical, now it's upside down. Take your mouse and hold it down across of both pieces. They're both selected. On the right hand side toolbar again, you'll see a line. You want to go in the top row and click on that middle button that says center. That's going to center them left to right so they're nice and even. Now what we need to do is weld these two pieces together. I'm going to click on the bottom piece and then use the arrows on my keyboard and move it up. Just so they're overlapping and then we can weld these two together to create our shaped piece. So keep on going. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I might go a little bit higher. All right, I'm gonna try this one out. So I'm gonna hold my mouse across both pieces again. Right hand side toolbar, we're gonna click that same box, so that same button that says weld. Gonna click on that. You wanna weld it enough to where you don't see the line going across. So now we have the shaped piece for our card. I'm gonna choose this one and change the color so we can see a little better. I'm going to make this piece be white, close that out, and we'll make the word mom be a different color. Make that one be pink or magenta in this case. Now I'm going to drag the word mom over, and you're going to need to right click on it and choose arrange, and then choose bring to front. And you'll see when you bring it over, it's going to fit there perfectly because we have that offset layer. Okay, super cute. Now I do want to add other pieces to this one. Left hand side tool at the very top, we're going to click on that button that says Canvas Project Pattern Collection, which is the window we closed in the beginning. In the search box, we're going to type in the word heart, and then click on enter. Now what I want to use is this one here, it's called Heart Gift Tags, so going to click on that. Now to make this, it does require three mats, I only want the pieces on mat A, so I'm just going to click on mat A, let it process, then close this out. So now we have all those pieces. I'm going to remove the word love. I don't want that piece. I'm going to click on that and then choose delete and do the same for the other heart. All right, so this heart I want to keep, but I also want to resize it. This is going to be for the inside of the card. Have that piece selected. Again, the right-hand side toolbar under edit. Now this time you want to make sure the, the maintain aspect ratio box is checked and change just the height and make that be one inch. That piece is going to be for the inside of the card. This piece I want to put on the front of my card, but I want to resize it to where I can still see the center of the letter O. Just use the arrows and make it be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit smaller. Okay, so if I put it there, you can see, we can still make out what the word says. If I put it in the middle, it'll be kind of hard to see, so I like putting it at the bottom, but I like having the center of the O to where you can still see that. All right, so my banner size is a width of 4.50 and a height of 0.62. I'm going to change this to be white as well. So I have that piece selected, the very top where the paint bucket is. I'm going to change that to be white. I also want to add text to this piece. So the same idea as before, left hand side toolbar, click on the T for text, click on the map. A text box is going to come up and type in the words is love, or you can do you know whatever sentiment you want. Then click off. So we have our text here, and it's the same font we had before, Arial Black. I'm going to bring this piece down inside this piece here. So I need to resize this piece, my lettering, to fit inside there. So my lettering is selected. Again, the right-hand side toolbar where the size is. Make sure that box is checked, and change the height here to be 0 0.50, and then click on Enter. I'm going to bring this piece down, and that's going to fit nicely inside that piece there. Now the word, the wording is love is what we're going to use to draw out on the on the machine. So you want to have the word selected. Just to make sure the phrase is selected by itself. The very top, you will see the functions for this for this lettering. You can either cut it out, or if you click on that arrow down, you have draw. I'm going to click on draw. So now that wording is set to draw on our machine. Now I do want to have this centered and sized, so I'm going to highlight both pieces, make sure they're both selected, so we have the banner and the phrase. Right hand side toolbar again, that same align button, you want to click on the top middle one, click on center, that centers it left to right. The bottom middle one is middle, that centers it up and down. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good, now you want to group them together so they stay as one unit. Highlight both pieces, make sure they're both selected, right click on that and choose group. Okay, so now when I move one, they're going to both move together. 
All right, now I'm just going to rearrange pieces on my mat to make it easier to cut out. So I have my card base here. On the right-hand side toolbar, again, under that edit panel, you will see where the flip function was inside there. I'm going to click on that and change the degrees to 90. That way it'll rotate that piece of 90 degrees so I can save paper. I'll bring this up on the left-hand side, upper left, and then make the same for this one. Have that selected. Again, make that one 90 degrees, or you can just use your cursor to change it and bring that piece up there. Now we have the word mom. I'll put this one at the very bottom right-hand corner of my mat. Make sure you're inside that red line. Put that one right there, and then the heart is going to go right here. On my mat, I'll put a piece of white cardstock in the top and a piece of red cardstock or whatever color you're using on the bottom. I right, let's go to the machine and I'll show you how to use the draw function and we'll cut it out. All right, I forgot to show you how to transfer the file to the machine. So once you're happy with the placement of your cardstock on your mat, you wanna to go to the very top toolbar and click on file. Very bottom, click on transfer. A little box comes up letting you know the file has been transferred to the machine. If you can't do it wirelessly, you can always do it by a USB cable. Gonna click OK here. Now let's go to the machine. I'll show you how to access the file and also how to draw out the image and we'll also cut it out. All right, guys, here we are at the machine. The only thing I did so far was load up my mat. Now to access the file, you wanna go ahead and click on where it says pattern. Then this box here in the upper left-hand corner is your Wi-Fi or the wireless button. Go ahead and click on that. Give it a moment to retrieve it. And now we have our file there. Now you will see the lettering is in blue. Hopefully you can see that there. That's set to draw. All right, now I'm gonna zoom you guys out and I can share with you guys how to put the pen holder in. All right, so here we are. I have the pen holder and the pen. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pen holder by pushing that button on the back. That way that's open. Take the cap off my pen, put my pen in there, my little marker. Close that and then put the cap on top. Take my blade out, set that aside and put this piece in. You wanna make sure the brother logo is always facing you. Put that in and then push this lever down. All right, now let's go back up to the panel. I can show you what to do next. All right, we have the pen loaded in. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to choose draw because it's going to draw our lettering first. I'm going to click on draw. Let that process. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. I'll bring you down to the machine so you can see a drawing. All right, go ahead and click on start. Now it's going to do the drawing first. You can see that there. All right, the drawing is done, and now I want to take that pen tool out and put in our cutting blade. All right, now to take the pen holder out, just pick this piece up and take that piece out. I'm going to take the pen out so we can put the, the cap back on there. All right, we can set that aside and put in our blade. And again, you want to have the Brother logo facing you and then lock that down. Let's go back up top to the panel. All right, once the machine was done drawing, you can see here it says Finish Drawing. Go to click OK. Now we're going to choose the option to cut. Let that process. I'm going to go ahead and hit start and bring you guys down, back down so you can see the machine cutting. Okay, I'm just going to click on cut. Now we're going to go ahead and click on start and you will see it's going to cut out our card and also cut this piece out as well. So I'm going to unload it, take it to the table, and put our card together. All right, we are back. Everything is cut out. I'm going to take it off the mat. Make sure I pick up my tape. I did tape my card stock down as well. Okay, 
Okay, put all that aside. Take my spatula, pick these guys up. Okay, and our heart. Set that aside. All right, so now we have our card base. Now, I did not put a score mark in there. If you want to, you certainly could. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in half, lining up the bottom. And then taking my bone folder and just giving that a crease. So now we have the card base. I'm gonna take my glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get this from MayMayMadeIt.com. We're gonna take that and put glue on the back of our word mom. So a really simple shaped card. All right, so we have glue on there. That's gonna set it on our card, the front. Okay, so we have that. On the inside, we're gonna put that little heart. All right, now we have the piece that we drew. I'm gonna take that, flip it over. I'm gonna put some foam squares on the back. I'm gonna do three. All right, and give each one of them a squish. Take the backing off of those, and then we're gonna stick it to the front of the card. Like I said, a very easy card and super cute. And I'm gonna put this at the, toward the bottom so I can still see the center of the O. Just like that, I think. Looks pretty good. There. How simple was that card? So we have that one there. Then we have this one there. All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.